Hi everyone, it's Erin, and today I'm going to replicate this piece of artwork from the one and only Ren and Snippy show. And we can see that Rem, is, Rem <laughs> that Ren is celebrating his birthday, which I just did. Woo! And I have my primary set plus pure red and ultramarine blue. I have some brushes. I've got a paper towel that just flew away. I've got water. I've got a palette, and I have this artwork. Um, let's start by making the background and this is a monochromatic bath bathroom <laughs> this is a monochromatic background uh, using blue as the main color but we are mixing that blue in with some gray and then we're going to do a darker version of this and a lighter version of this so we have our white black we have cyan which is the main blue which is a cool blue and then we're adding a small amount of ultramarine blue as well which is warm um, and yeah, just creating this nice value scale so that we can have a modeled background, which means, you know, there's, yeah, monochromatic, these several different um, uh, versions of this blue, some dark, some light, some desaturated, some that are a bit punchier. And we're making a vignette. So the outer edges of the background are darker and it gets lighter as it gets to the center. And then you can see the center itself is just left white, which is such a brilliant way to create a sense of glow from the candles. The candles themselves don't even have flames because, you know, it's Ren and Stimpy, they don't need flames. Um, and uh, yeah, so the background, that white area is giving off the sensation or the, the feeling of a glow. And I'm adding a bit of turquoise here. You can see in the original piece, it's actually quite um, contrasty, like really pumped up there. But there is a, a, sort of a turquoise color throughout the background as well. So I just added some white and green to my mix and a voila turquoise or like a desaturated turquoise. The original piece is quite desaturated. That one that I just uh, had down in the bottom left, uh, the, it's, the contrast is really high, higher than it should be. Um, now I'm making a sepia tone so a warm reddish brown a little bit of white in there and this is uh, the area between the cake and Ren so this is sort of like the secondary shadow of the cake you can see the more defined shadows on either side of the cake and Ren but then in between them there's this um, sepia tone that really ties Ren in with the cake and with the ground and the background um, it's a brilliant way to do that, to use these, the same colors that we're going to use for Ren himself is being used in that secondary shadow between the cake and Ren. And this is quite a muddy color. And in fact, a lot of colors in the Ren and Stimpy show were muddy. It had a very distinct look compared to other cartoons of its time that were mostly like candy colors. And yeah, these colors were a lot more muddy, which really suited the show. The show itself was quite like dirty and gross and, and absurd and uh, really groundbreaking. For any of you who were into Ren and Stimpy, like I was, you know that it was, yeah, it was very adult themed at a time when uh, most cartoons just weren't. Um, it was actually originally, it was created for the internet through an animation studio called Spumco. Uh, and they, they wanted it, you know, strictly for the internet away from any um, networks or distributors because they wanted to be able to do whatever they wanted. <laughs> they, they wanted to get dirty and they could, they didn't have to answer to anybody. Um, so uh, John Cruz Felusi was the original creator of Ren and Stimpy and then it was developed um, further by Bob Camp. Um, Canadians, I think Bob Camp's a Canadian, but I know uh, Cruz, uh, Chris Felucci is Canadian, and so is Lynn Naylor, which also worked on the show. I'm not sure if Jim Smith came later, but um, Jim Smith was also one of the creators. So it started on online and then it got picked up by Nickelodeon later. We'll talk more about that possibly in this video, but I will be doing more Red and Stimpy videos, so uh, I'll save some of that for later. But you can see the shadows that I just did for the cake and for Ren both had blue in them. We don't want to use straight up black for shadows. I've mentioned this in other videos. Because the background and the ground is blue, you want your shadow to reflect that, right? You want your shadow to have some blue in it. Um, and then the plate itself, really interesting, that plate is green and it's like a turquoisey green and blue showing the light and the dark area of the plate by using warm and cool colors. We're going to talk about that definitely as we paint this because warm and cool tones are used throughout um, the, the, the shadows and light and it's just yeah, a brilliant way to bring in sort of sort of more of an unusual palette 
Um, anyway, we're now painting the best part of the painting, Ren. And this pose is so fantastic. It's really expressive. You know, he's like always hunched over. He has the worst posture, but he's kind of like leaning his head forward. His eyes are bulging out. He's excited about this cake. And um, there's a lot of expressiveness in this pose. So I really accentuated the line of action. Well, I didn't. <laughs> the original artist, who I think was Bob Camp. If you know who did this piece, please let me know in the comments below. I couldn't find that out. But um, but yeah, just a really exaggerated pose. and. It, a lot of animators exaggerate the line of action which is basically the spine and like how the spine leads into the pose and by exaggerating it um, you know it's just more exciting more exciting to watch um, in animation just gives a lot more uh, motion I suppose and um, yeah this is this was a lot of fun so once I've got his body down once I've got that main color uh, I'm now bringing in the more gestural textural um, tonality throughout the body and this was so fun so I'm using this palette that basically has all my primary colors and just as as needed I mix colors uh, to the nuances of the colors in uh, on his skin and you can see my hand <clears throat> even though it's sped up you can sort of see that I'm painting differently than I do when I paint solid objects um, I start to kind of swirl my hand around a lot like right there you just saw that it's it's interesting like as soon as I start to paint in a more um, gestural painterly expressionistic fashion these sort of dry brushes and these paint strokes and um, yeah my whole my hand the way I paint just changes and I really enjoy it it's yeah it's sort of this free free flow um, and bringing in this light yellow this is the glow of the candles again the candles <laughs> that aren't actually lit but they're glowing and so this warm sort of yellowy glow on his face um, and we're bringing in the white now of the eyes I'm still to this day I've been using gouache for God for like 20 years now and I'm still having a hard time getting white to uh, to apply white smoothly so if you have any tricks let me know about that um, but doing the mouth just is just grounding like I'm just bringing in the ground for all of these and then I'll add the details later but as I'm using the white for the eyes and the mouth I see that I can kind of you know use a little white over here for the highlight on the arm and yeah this whole process is really just sort of like an intuitive like jumping around from area to area I'm now doing the shadow inside of his ear and you can see it's a purple color with a little bit of this more turquoise around the edge and then a darker outline and typically shadows of a warm object so Ren's skin tone is quite warm or his skin and fur and so the the shadow is purple which is typically the color you use to shadow that warm brownie color so going in for a second coat on the eyeballs taking out any crumbs ew crumbs in the eye no thanks and just smoothing that out So did we talk did we already talk about Spumco? <laughs> I can't even remember. Ah, my brain. I'm I'm st I think I mentioned I'm still recovering from my birthday weekend. Last weekend it was a big one and it was like 3 days of partying plus I had a an art show opening and it it was it was too much, but it was so fun. I really I really am grateful for my friends that helped make it a special birthday. Um so yeah, my brain I can't remember, but I think I mentioned Spumco. <laughs> <laughs> the animation scene. I did, I did, I did. And I said I'd talk more about it in another video. Right. Okay, I've covered that. Excellent. So back to the painting. I just elongated his upper uh, lip or his like muzzle. He's a dog, so the upper part of his <laughs> of his muzzle. I made it longer. And then I added some warm shadows. And this is where we're going to talk about temperature because this piece really accentuates um, and a lot of Ren and Stimpy work. I just brilliant use of of temperature with shadows so the shadowing on his face is more of like a reddish pink color and then the shadowing on his head is more of like purples and blues and and you get these different temperatures which just looks fabulous it looks great and it's more real it's more like what how real light works you know um, I love that the detail around his bottom lip like he's biting his lip he's so excited about this cake and you can just feel the tension. There's always a lot of tension in Ren and Stimpy um, 
artwork is just like there's always like this tense you know either the veins in the neck are popping or the hands are clenching the eyeballs are bulging out and it's that accentuated um yeah the, that that accentuation just creates a lot of energy and it's so fun uh, and these bloodshot eyes these were my eyes this weekend <laughs> just no sleep i don't i really don't think i slept more than maybe four hours in a three-day um, period it was it was intense uh yeah and the eyes too you see i put a little bit of turquoise like that little bit up at the top there to reflect the the background the room around him um such great use of color not on my part on whoever painted this originally and the cute little red nose love it uh so now we're moving on to uh, i'll start outlining um, his body and bringing in this dark line really starts to give the whole piece like starts to come together right it's always it's always that black that brings it all together um, in this case it's not pure black the outline I believe I mix it with like a, let's see we're gonna find out in a second outlining his lip first just sort of bringing in a bit of detail around the eyes uh, where it needs it you know a little bit of warmth there and now the outline and I think this outline is it's basically a very dark purple there's a bit of magenta and a little bit of ultramarine in with the black and here I get to do the kind of line work I love doing these calligraphic lines where depending on how much pressure you put on your brush you'll get thicker lines or thinner lines and it's quick it's sort of thoughtless you know you just go for it it, it feels great I love doing line work like this um, really brings it all together just make sure your paint is wet enough that you're gonna get a smooth line I got a little bit of a rough line on his back but I liked it I, th I thought it looked kind of cool do I fix it I don't think I do little tum tums yeah love doing that line work oh and speaking of line work the best part of this whole <laughs> painting are his little squiggly hairs <laughs> I love that second one. Oh man those were super fun to do all right, so next up is the cake. And sorry, I keep covering my mouth. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm getting all excited. Um, so we're gonna do the cake and I'm using the magenta, which is the cool red plus white, but I mixed in some yellow with it. And that was a mistake because I made it a lot warmer than it should be. So if we were to look at the original piece, which I'm just gonna bring up now, um, you can see that that pink is way cooler of a pink than the pink I'm using. But that's okay it works it, it works um, my shadowing isn't great so I, I do darken that up but then I also bring in a warm red so this is another example of warm and cool working together to create a more um, sort of interesting and impressionistic palette and again that's what Ren and Stimpy was one of the things it was brilliant for was just using these like unexpected colors together and different temperatures within one element uh, this part of the film got messed up the frame rate's all off I don't know why this keeps happening to me but it was like slow-mo and I couldn't upload the entire clip so you're not going to see all of these candles being painted in so just the first two but what I end up doing is I use a tiny little brush a dry brush to make that texture inside of the candles and then I outline them with a darker blue and then I've got some highlights here on the icing and then I do um, some darker outlines for the plate I think I kind of redo the plate a little bit here um, but outlining everything with the darker the darker shade of what it is right so the cake is outlined in like a darker shade of pink Ren is outlined in like a darker shade of that skin tone and so on and there we have it it's all done Woohoo! so happy birthday to anyone who's got their birthday in September a little boop to the tummy there pat on the bum and it's all done Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you all soon. Go watch some Ren and Stimpy.